of the CIA, got a chance to speak with students about the agency tonight. He also weighed in on the Petraeus affair, calling it an unfortunate mistake. WFMZ's Will Lewis is joining us now live in the studio with more. Will. Well, Wendy and Rob, Eugene Poteet says he likes going around the country to speak with students about the role spies played in American history. He also lets them know if they choose this field, their life will always be under scrutiny. Intelligence has a role. It's a critical role in America's safety and national security. Eugene Poteet knows a thing or two about national security. He worked as a scientific intelligence officer for the Central Intelligence Agency. Poteet is now the president of the Association of Former Intelligence Officers. His goal? To help new recruits. Students uh, are the next generation of intelligence officers. So, you know, how do you... How do you identify? How do you communicate with them? How do you help them? How do you mentor them? Petit says the first thing is teach them about history. During his speech, he told the crowd about spies like Nathan Hill and covert missions in Russia during the Cold War. The most important lesson for each person thinking of joining the CIA, your life is under a microscope. When you go to work in intelligence and receive a, a high-level, top-secret security clearance, you, you have your background checked, you have your lifestyle checked, uh, your finances are scrutinized, and finally you get polygraphed. When talking about lifestyle, the conversation turns to former CIA director David Petraeus. Petit says even the most highly skilled and trained person is vulnerable. We take these high-ranking military men, we expect them to go fight and, and die for us, and yet they're not perfect. They're humans like like you and me, the rest of us. It's sad when something like this happens. Yes, and while Petit calls the Petraeus situation tragic, he says people need to remember the work he has done while protecting the country from terrorists. Wendy.